Hi guys, Geosera here. Today we are back with another episode of the review of the player card. And today, as you can see, we have Lionel Messi. As we are now on the weekend, you can see that the upload schedule is going to be quite good. I should have one for today. I think this video will be going live Saturday, so yes, tomorrow from when I'm actually recording it. And I should have one for Sunday as well. I'm not sure which player I'm doing yet. You can leave your comments down below if you'd like to help me decide which player I should do, or if I could do a completely different video. Anyways, as you can see, we have Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi, who has been downgraded to a 93 overall card, probably the most debatable and the most, the most unprecedented decisions from FIFA in a long while. To make Ronaldo higher rating than Messi, to even downgrade Lionel Messi is a ridiculous decision. Anyway, guys, let's get into the two different stats, the two different players, and compare them. So, guys, as you can see, Messi has gone downgraded by one. His pace has been downgraded by three. Is that because of age? I don't know. Should Messi be a 90 play pace player? Probably, yes. I think a 90 pace would be fair. But he have disagreed with that, and they have completely torn that away. Should he has, he has? I don't think he's had any shooting before, and any shooting is for example, I'm surprised he's never had that before, because he is Lionel Messi and he has performed well throughout the thing, throughout the years, and he says 86 pass and can stay the same. He has in fact got a plus one dribble and plus one above Neymar. Do I think Neymar should be the highest rib dribbler in the game? Yes, I think Neymar should be. I rate the Messi in dribbling. His defending and physical don't really matter too much because he is Lionel Messi, but then he has got some stats which just aren't that great. But then, as you can see, he done so well. There's two stats for in the last couple of years. In 1450, 58 goals, 31 assists, and 57 games, assuming 10 goals in the Champions League, is absolutely incredible. It was the Champions League winning season, and. That is why he got to the 84. I think he may have been 80. Yeah, he was 84 the year before, I believe. And so he has stayed there. And then this season, he has done worse. But he's played eight less games and he scored 17 less goals and got seven less, uh, five less assists, which is which shows it is. He has done worse, but done worse as in he didn't do that bad as a team still. And he shouldn't have got downgraded because a lot of players do play worse than that and stay at their overall ratings. And I think he should have 90 pace, 90 shooting, probably 95 dribbling, or if name, unless they're going to give 97 to name. But that is how it should be, guys. Obviously, let's get into the final overview of Lionel Messi. So, guys, you probably saw from the whole of this that I disagree. I do not think that he should have got a downgrade. Do I think he should have upgrade? No, he should have stayed 94. Lionel Messi is Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi is as good as Ronaldo. He, Ronaldo didn't even have that much great over season. He didn't even get top goal scorer in the league, and that was Luis Suarez. And Luis Suarez is only 92 rate. So yeah, this is it's a debatable one, but I do think that Lionel Messi should be 94 rated along with Ronaldo because he still performed well, including the Copa final, which. It's just it's, it's just another big achievement. If he would have won it, he would have definitely been a 94 rated player. Anyways, I've been GS7. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating. If you'd like to tell me what another player to do, please comment down below and subscribe for more content. Anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye.